你好，老师哦，老师。会干起来。
Hello. No. Hello, everyone. Ni hao, Hi. Yes, Okay, now here, I think you can hear me, right? Okay. okay. Oh, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. And uh, mm, here, because this is the first time, um, in fact, uh, I want to uh, call the door, uh, but uh, there is something wrong with, because we, something wrong with this uh, system. So uh, for, the first, for the first time, we didn't, uh, we do not call the door, okay? Next time, next time I will call the door. And, uh, uh, now we begin our class and I will share the screen. And uh, our class is, uh, this is all the ones, the mathematics. Mm, first, uh, uh, this is not the time, okay? You can omit this, okay? Ignore the, the time. Uh, we should know our test book. Test book, uh, you can um, buy our test book online, or maybe you can download the electric uh, tab and uh, print the okay anyway so i hope you have i hope you can take our test book or our your notebook you should have a pen because we will have do many exercise because this is mathematics calculus right this is otherwise the mathematics or we call it is calculus and here, this is uh, the here for this this one. This is uh, our uh, reference book. And next, uh, we will to introduce why we should study calculus. Okay. Before we go on, I also like to show something maybe some questions for you. This is why we study calculus. This is a very natural question, okay? So why? Why we study calculus? Okay, we may say, I think this part is very important for our students, 
We need to know We need to know what about our motivation for our course, especially students in college. We need to know why we study so many mathematical course, for example, calculus. And we will spend a whole year to study this course. But why? Okay, this is a natural question. Mm. So, why we need to study this course? I think this is a very interesting thing about the great contribution of calculus and the Newton's uh, material to human progress. And we will have four problems for science and uh, technology. Problem one is what's the relationship of the velocity, okay? The velocity and the position function of the moving objects. We will uh, learn the relationship of the velocity and the position function of the moving objects. And for example, a car is moving here and we want to find its space. Space, if we know its distance, that means what's the relationship of the velocity? We write this is v and the position function. This we write s. So we know in high school we study the physics. We know velocity is equal to s, the distance over time t, right? But I have to tell you this is this speed called the average speed. Okay, average speed in Chinese. Do you know this Chinese words? This is called 平均速度. Okay, in Chinese, the average speed is 平均速度. For example, you walk from the dorm to this building, but pass through the library, what about the velocity at the point of the library? Because in that point, you don't have distance, right? Uh, you, you work from dorm to our building and you throw the library. Now we want to know the velocity at the point of a library. Because in that point, we, know we don't have the distance. <laughs> so we don't have the time. That, that is the time is zero. The distance is zero. So if we use the formula we learned in high school, this is zero over zero, otherwise it's meaningless, right? So how to find the velocity? Okay, the velocity is called, yeah, we will learn the instant, instantaneous speed. Okay, instantaneous speed. And problem two is tangent line. In high school, if we have a line he here, how to calculate the tilting of this line? For example, we have a line here. This is x axis, y axis. This is zero. And we just, uh, this is the curve, y is fx. Mm. We want to calculate uh, uh, the tangent line. We introduce the slope. Okay, the slope for this quality, uh, quantity, if we have theta z here, so we define the slope of this line to be tiny. 
honey. So we use tangent the theta to calculate the tilting of this line. This means we have a theta. We use tangent theta. Oh, tangent theta to uh, represent uh, the tilting of this line. Now we have a question. Uh, you, 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 are, you are in our classroom? Oh, but uh, we change the classroom, you know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Okay. What's your name? Yun Lian. Yun Lian. Yun Okay, okay. Uh, because the uh, uh, B zero, B B two zero one. Uh, there's something with uh, the student sound line can cannot hear my voice. Uh, but I think next time, next time we still study in B two zero one, not in this classroom. I will take out take my computer and uh, uh, ensure students online they can hear me. They can hear me. Okay. Well, this is just uh, a, a sudden uh, accident, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, if we have a curve, now we want to know how to calculate the tilting of the curve. This means we want to uh, write the, the slope. I write the, the, this is k, is tending theta. But uh, we don't know how to calculate tending theta. Okay? And we will learn it. After and the third problem, the third problem is we want to calculate the length of a curve or the area of general reach in the plane. This means we know if this is a straight line. Uh, apparently, it's not a straight uh, because, but we uh, we see this is a straight line. We know how to calculate to the legs, right? But uh, here, this is not a straight line. This is a curve like this. Here, the, the start from point A and end at B. No, but can you know, do you know how to calculate the, the length of this curve? Okay, so we want to calculate the length of this curve. Uh, now, we also know for example, okay, oh, no, nothing. <laughs> we know how to calculate the area of this. Uh, this is called uh, the um, parallel, parallelogram. Uh, in Chinese, it's 平行四边形, or this is a square, the squares. We, we know calculate uh, the area of squares. We know how to calculate with uh, the area of this circle, right? But uh, here I will give you, okay? Okay, but how to find the area of this ridge? This ridge, how to find the area of this ridge? And we will learn also later, okay? And here, if we have A here and a B here, this means A here, B here, or oh, A here, B here, how to find the length of the curve. So how to find the length of the given curve, and uh, similarly, you know how to find the area of this triangle. For example, we have a triangle. I also know how to find the, the area of this triangle. Mm, but now if we change this line to be a curve, if we have a curve, something like this one, like this one, now the new question is how to find the area of this ridge or some other general ridges. General ridges. Okay, the last problem. Problem four, how to maximize or minimize of our given function. Okay. Uh, for example, I give you a function is y is uh, with x squared plus oh, x uh, 2 over 3 um, plus 2 and plus maybe is a little 
this is a function. I think this is a, um, a little complicated. Uh, right, uh, right. It is like uh, uh, think about. Uh, okay, maybe this one. This one, and uh, maybe I gave you uh, an interval a b. Mm, this is just a simple function. We want to find the, the maximum or the minimum on this interval. This is how to find. This is the last question. So those four problems promote our course. Okay, and the calculus can answer all of these problems from science and technology. The first the two constitute the differential part. And the problem three, problem three is calculate the, the length of the curve and the area of a general rate. This is constitutes the integral part. Okay, we will talk about it later. Problem four should be the application of the derivative, okay, of the derivative. We will also talk about the later. So first, this is a requirement from the science and the technology. We will answer this very basic questions. And, uh, uh, we, we will uh, introduce the main content of the course. This is what we will learn next. And otherwise, the mathematics course is a compulsory and a general education course for different students from industry colleges. Okay, the main content of the course detailed as follows. We should learn numbers, inequalities, absolute values, functions, limits and continuity, derivatives and application of the derivative, integrals, applications and techniques of integration, first all the linear differential equations, all of this we will learn in this semester, okay, and we will solve these problems. And first, uh, we, when we finish the course, this is some rules for our class. Okay, the first rule is you, you should not be late. Okay, and we will call the rule every time. Uh, this is just time we didn't call the rule, but next time and after we will call the rule every time. If you are not here, then I will record you are absent. Okay, this means your maybe your score, your final score is influenced uh, by your attendance, right? <laughs> and we also uh, here and uh, oh yeah, this is uh, we have the course assessment. This in accordance with the regulations, uh, regulations of school. Assignment result is an integrated calculation of the actual score of final examination. This means uh, when we end this course, we will have the final examination and the, the average score of regular grades. The average score. The regular grades are greeting by, this is uh, the regular grades, greeting by your attendance. This is a very important part, okay? And uh, homeworks, we, we will have some homeworks. Mm. We have to enforce the attendance policy from now on, okay? So if you are present in your class, please write down. This is, this is because um, everyone, we, everyone in your class, you, you should write down the, uh, your name. But here we change the we to color, change the we of calling the door. And we just, uh, I call your name, you say you are here. Okay, next time I will explain the rules uh, 
maybe a Mao, uh, the, the Ch Chinese is. But where do we send them? Where? We, what? Attendance? No, 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 no. Here, no. This is not, not this. Uh, next time I will explain, okay? Uh, this is not. We, we change the door. Oh, uh, so hello, students online. No, 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 no. Hello, students online. Do not worry about the attendance, okay? Next time I will explain it because the first time we will have some accident, we change the classroom. Okay, next time. Okay, do not worry about. And we also have some doors. This is you should take notes. Okay, yeah, right. You should pick a pin. And uh, here, this is our book. Okay. Right, perfect. So this is, uh, oh, this is our, this is the PowerPoint, right? PowerPoint. Also, this is also very important. Okay. You can, uh, when you have this, this means you can review after our class. Okay. So let me see. This is your, oh, this is our, oh, this is also our, okay. Okay. It's good. Okay. Take notes, you should read the test book after class to ensure your learning process. Because if you don't review, maybe next time you come here, you almost forget all we have learned. And then if we learn new knowledge, you may feel a little confused and you feel uh, it's so hard for you, right? So. Don't be late, okay? This is, this is not our role. I just call it, don't be late, okay? Because if you are late, maybe although you are here, but uh, I will record you are absent, okay? So this is, this is our role. Don't be late, okay? And because of this is emergency, this means if you have something, uh, maybe you you can't uh, you can't attend our class. You should give me a note for leave in advance. Okay. If I already record your station is be absent now after this, you explain it and you want me change your station. You want me, oh, a teacher, please give me attendance. I think it's hard for me to change it. Okay. So, odd in other ones. And also, you can, this is not our class. You can also ask questions in our class. Right. This means we are, when we uh, solve a problem or when we explain this uh, problems and you, you don't know why. And I also will, I also will ask, do you understand it? If you have any questions, you can say, why, why this is, why you write like this? Okay, you should ask questions. If you are confused, you don't know why. Okay, but ensure you, you are listening to me carefully. Okay, this means when you are uh, um, um, explaining or um, talking, uh, oh, uh, um, uh, teaching you, oh, explain, uh, very difficult, uh, uh, problems, but you are here playing your, this is your point, playing a game or talk with each other. And then after this, you, you, you feel confused because you're not constant on. And then you ask me why, why? So, I think um, this is your fault, right? And uh, do homework, okay, do homework. Okay, now we will learn chapter zero. This is a preliminary, okay? Oh, maybe in our class, uh, I read the wrong, I read the wrong word. If you know, I, I hope you can tell me how to pronounce it, okay? 
And in this chapter, we will introduce some basic concepts and some useful tools of mathematics for our further study or research. Uh, for the first time, I think it is not hard for you to learn about this because uh, I don't know, uh, I think you have learned it before, but I'm not sure, okay? And later we will learn. Uh, we will learn zero numbers, tight intervals, inequalities, absolute values, the rectangular coordinate system, functions and their operations, trigonometric functions. First, real numbers, tight intervals. Okay. This is calculus is based on the real number system and its properties, but what are the real numbers and what are their properties? To answer, we start with some similar, uh, similar number systems and natural numbers. Do you know natural numbers? Do you learn it before? Yes or no? Oh, this is, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And then we will learn to we learned integers, right? This means include their negatives and uh, zero. This is minus four, minus three, or negative two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. So this integers. And we continue to consider, uh, this is the quotient of integers. This, is, this means, for example, this is one, and the, the numerator here is one, the denominator is three. Uh, this is, uh, this pronounce, this is a quotient, right? Quotient, Qu quotient. This one over three, two over three, one over four, three over four. Or we write the six over five. This is uh, the, consider the quotient of an integer. Then we have the rational rational numbers. We know the, we, oh, we know it before. Okay, we know it. Okay, rational numbers. These numbers that can be written in the form in the form what? This is m over n, right? M is uh, m n r integers. M over n rational numbers and. And we always remember right, dividing by zero is not allowed, right? So this means you cannot fix over zero, right? Okay. And then we have our questions. Do the rational numbers serve to measure all lengths? The answer is no. For example, we give a rest triangle, this is, <laughs> Uh, the length of this is uh, adjacent one, and uh, this is called uh, I don't remember. Uh, this is called this line. We have a name. It's called a. Uh, mm, maybe I forgot it. And we know the length of this line is the square root of two, right? So the square root of two minus the uh, hypotenuse of a right triangle with this is this is hypotenuse uh, with legs of legs one, but square of two cannot be written as a quotient of two integers. This means square of two. We cannot write is equal to m over n, right? So this is not a rational number, rational number, right? And so here we have a irrational numbers. This means numbers that cannot be written in the form m over n, where m and n are integers with n, n is not zero. For example, the square root of three, square root of five, the, this is the cube of so seven and the pi. These are irrational numbers. Okay, and then we have real numbers. This means if we consider all numbers 
rational and irrational that can measure links together with the negatives and zero. We call these numbers are real numbers. Okay, zero numbers. And we know the real numbers may be viewed viewed as labels from labels for points along a horizontal line. This is horizontal line. Mm. There, they measure a distance to the right or left, the directed distance from a fixed point called the origin. Oh, all right, this orange O. <laughs> and labeled uh, zero. Though we cannot possibly show all the labels, each point does have a unique real number level. For example, one, this point, uh, this means the distance between zero and one is one. So we write this is two, or this is um, five over two, okay? This is minus three over two. Here, this is a square root of two. Irrational number is also on this line. <laughs> okay, and this number is called the, here, this number is called the coordinate of the point. And the resulting coordinate line is referred to as a real line. This means this line is called a real line. It's called a real line. And the thing four suggests the relationship among the sides of numbers discussed so far. You know, uh, we first uh, we learn the natural numbers, and then we learn the integers, and then rational numbers, and then real numbers. And then we learn to the outer. This is the the non-zero real numbers separate uh, nicely into two distinct sides. The positive real numbers and the negative real numbers. This fact uh, allows us to introduce the other relation, other relation, this is, we write with is less than pi. X is less than Y, if and only if, y minus x is positive, right? It's greater than zero. <laughs> the other relation here is this one is rate is less than or equal to. It's a first uh, cutting of less than. It's defined by x is less than or equal to y if and only if y minus x is positive or zero. So we have the other properties. Well, and the, the, um, this, this means is a track. I, I forget this. Do you know how to pronounce this? No? Oh, oh no. Uh, check on me. Maybe? Oh, okay. If X and Y are numbers, then exactly one of the following holes. We have X, Y are numbers. One of the following holes, x less than y, or x is y, or x is greater than y. Uh, the second property is the transitivity. This means if x less than y, y less than z, we know s x less than z. The third is addition, means x less than y, and only if x plus z less than y plus z. The, the, first, the last one is multiplication. This means with here, we should notice Z is positive. This positive X less than Y, if and only if we multiply by, both sides multiply by Z, X is less than Y then. Okay, here. When Z is negative, Right, negative. And x less than y, even only over here, you know, x, z, this is greater than y, z, right? For example, 
you know we know one is less than two right but if we have a positive number for example three uh, both multiplied by three we know three the less than two times three right <laughs> but if multiply by a negative number you know minus three this is greater or less than or greater than greater than right greater than times minus three so we change the uh change the this uh, this is called uh change the order change the order relation Order power is the two, three, and four in the margin box hold when the symbols less than and greater than are replaced by less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. And then we give the concepts of size. The definition a site. Well, a site is a collection of all objects which are sharing some properties. Each of the objects belonging to a site is called an element of the site. Do you learn site before? Learn? Okay, have a rest. Hello, students online. Have a rest for a while. Hello, Chi. Hello. <laughs> okay, I will. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is it in Yeah, well, it's the science and the elements. Well, oh, I will lower my tongue, right? Lower the waist. Signs are always denoted as capital letters, such as A, B, C, right? Elements of our sight are denoted as small letters, such as A, B, C. You see, and really, religion is an element of sight. A. Read as A belongs to A. This means this A belongs to A. Right. A element. As a religion, we write A. Like R. O. A does not belong to A, rather A says. And then um, the, the finite side means the consists of an element. This is called a finite side. Side denoting no element is called an empty side. So denoted by this side denoting this. Okay. Uh, a site uh, consisting of infinite number of elements is called an infinite uh, site. Infinite site, for example, the natural number is denoted by use the capital N. That's a natural number. The integer site is denoted by Z, integer site. The rational number is denoted by Q, this rational. Real number is denoted by R. It's a real number. Uh, uh, when we are learning the addition of sight, this means the ends of our sight may numbers, but may only mean other things. And this is the collection of our students in the same university can be regarded as a site with the students as elements. So there are ways to representing the site. First, the tradition is list all elements of the site. For example, the site of of the equation x squared minus y zero that can also be represented by with list of elements, we write A is 1 minus 1. Um, second is property. 
points out the many thinning uh, crime had in common by all the elements of our text. For example, for this one, this is the list of them elements. We can also point out the element that we uh, property we add a x x square minus y zero. So the second uh, way to represent uh, the element the site. And then we will learn the relationship of size. You know, let A and B are two sides. If each element of A is also an element of B, this means V is called a subset of B. Subset denoted by A set of B. Or we write B contains. I see is counting the by B or B contains A. Now, the A definition is could be right is if A is contained by B and B is contained by A, then A and B are equal. We write A is equal to B. Now we have this if A is contained by B but A is not equal to B, then A is called a proper subset of B. Denoted by we always write O like this. And A is contained by B, we write like this. If A is contained by the but a is not they could be we write like this. This is the proper site. And oh uh, there are some basic operations on site. Let A and B are two sides. We define the journey of A and B is a site which contains all elements of A and B is denoted by A union B. Revise A union B. This means A union B, we have this is A like this, this is B site B. A union B represents all the elements that belong to A and B. This part, right? Okay, this part. This is X, we write A union B. X belongs to A or X belongs to B. And then we will learn the intersection. The intersection of two sites, A and B, is a site whose elements are those belong, belong to both A and B. This is both A and B. It's denoted by A. You need, this is intersect, intersection B. A intersection B, this means A intersection B is the site X belongs to A and X belongs to B. And now A, you need B. A, you mean B is X belongs to A. Here, this is what? R, right? This is R. X belongs to B. X belongs to B, right? This is the R. But here this is and. <laughs> so if this is a set of A, set of B. So A in section B is this part. The, the uh, uh, same part. If A in section B is an empty site, then A and B are said to be disjoint, right? Disjoint. And then we learn the difference. The difference of two sites, A and B, is a site whose elements are those belongs to both A 
bắt đầu nó chụp bì, bắt đầu chụp bì, thì nó thiệt vậy. A the difference we write A like this, like this. This means X belongs to A and X. This means does not belong to B, right? Uh, it's not belong to B. Uh, we can read as A minus B. Or the difference between A and B. We always uh, A minus B, right? This is X belongs to A here. This is X belongs to B. And X is not belong to B. So we should uh, minus this part, right? Or exclude this part. So this shadow part. And then we learn that this is B is contained by A. Uh, then the difference A minus B is called the complement of B with respect to A, denoted by C, A, B. Here, yeah, you know, B belongs to A. B, this is the contained by A. This is B, you know, this is A. Right? B contain, is contained by A. The difference A minus B, A minus B, this, oh, we write this A minus B, this is X belongs to A, X belongs to A, but uh, X is not belongs to B, so we should uh, exclude this part, right? So is this, right? Is this, that? So we write is C, A, B. C, A, B, the, the complement of B with respect to A. Complement. Remark, if the signs which we are discussing are all the subsets of our set X, then X is called a universal set. X minus B is called the complement of B, denoted by C, B, or B, the upper is C. And we will learn those of operations and on sites. <laughs> we have uh, A, B, C, B, any three sites. Then we have commutative law. This is A union B is B union A. A intersection B is B intersection A. Um, second is associative law. A union B and then union C is equal to A union B union C, A intersection B, the intersection C is A intersection B intersection C. And the third is distributive law. This is A here. A union B and the intersection C is equal to A intersection C union, this is union. B intersection C. Do we learn this before? Yes. And A intersection B, then union C is equal to then we A union C intersection B union A. Okay. And this is A minus B, and then intersection C is equal to A intersection C minus B intersection C. Uh, the, the, far, the, the first is idempotent law. This is A union A is A, A intersection A is A. And the file is absorption uh, law. This is A union an empty site is a a intersection. This is intersection. An empty site is an empty site. A we have a is contained by b. Then a union b is b. And over here, yeah, is a here. Yeah, this is the b. No, no, a is a is contained by b. A union B is this site. It's of course 
is B, right? And A in the section B, we want to find the same part. X belongs to A and X belongs to B. So this is A, right? This is A. And the true, this is part of the, uh, in Chinese, is, in Chinese, this is called a uh, This is a dual, uh, law, maybe. I think if A and B are two sides of the universal set X, then we have A union B. This is the complete side. We say this A C union intersection B, the complement of B. A intersection B complement. A complement. Complement of A union. This in complement of B. And we should remark that in many problems, we use the concept about the product of two sides. Product. The product of the size A and B is a side con con uh, consisting of the all the all the pairs X, Y, where X and Y are any elements of A and B respectively. The product, the product of two sides is denoted by A product B. Inside A product B is here, right like this. If X belongs to A, Y belongs to B. For example, A is a side, one, two. B is a side, one, three. And can you write the side A product B? Can you write? Think about it. A product B. Can you write? Tell me the elements of A product B. Hmm? Here X belongs to A. X belongs to Y belongs to B. The A, we found the elements are 1, 2, right? So here we can choose X is 1. 1 belongs to A, right? So X belongs to A, 1. Y belongs to B, we can find 1, right? Also, X belongs to A, Y, 3 belongs to B, right? 1, to A, 3 belongs to B. So it's one, three. And here we know two is also belongs to A, right? So we write two here. And we know one belongs to B, right? So when here, Y is this is I, y, X, Y. And also two belongs to A, three belongs to B, right? We write this. So this R. Have uh, all their elements. It's, you can find all elements you write front. You find all elements of B right behind. So they uh, cost uh, the set A product B. For example, if here this is I equality x with line or equal to a less than or equal to b. Here y is line or uh, equal to c less than d. Now a product b is equal to this is just x belongs to a. X belongs to a. They have the property this right. Y belongs to b. They have the property like this. Of A and B. And uh, the real number set is a basic set of advanced, uh, advanced uh, mathematics almost 
all of the main concepts are established on real number site. We have the proper one is clear. This means A, B belongs to R. In A plus B, A, this, this is multiplied by B, A over B belongs to R, right? And property two, out, this means I to the number A, B belongs to R. One and only one of foreign relations hold. Yes. A less than B is could be R is and begin is greater than B. This is all the on the real line. We say X less than Y means that X is to the left on the real line. Right? On the real line, we know the origin zero. If this is minus one, this is one, and we know. Minus one less than one, right? So minus one is is minus one is uh, to the left of one, right? And we know minus two is less than one. So minus two is to the left of one. Okay? Here, if x is less than one, x is to the left of y on the real line. Okay? And now we learn this is. We will learn intervals. Okay? And we learn the size. And now intervals. Intervals are a class of important numbers. Let A, B belongs to R, the number site. Interval is also a site, it's just a number site. In a number site, X belong greater than A, less than B is said to be an open interval denoted by A, B. We learned the open interval, yeah, A, B. That is A, B. We can also write A, B is rather like this. For, um, for example, it's interval 1, 2. It's interval we can write is X. X is greater than one, less than two, right? It's an interval. And we will let the number signs, this is equal, equal, okay? It's said to be a closed interval, denoted by closed interval, like this. This is a closed interval. That is, we write it like this, and uh, we we have the this, this means we have the site notation. Interval is also a site, so we can write an interval as a site, and we have this site notation here. This is interval notation, right? Here we can give a graph. This interval, open interval, have a graph like this. And this we can this is a site notation. We can also write this is a closed interval like this, right? And we give the graph like this here. This open like this, closed like this, right? Okay. And also, okay. And we have this is. Such notation, we notice this is greater than or equal to, right? So in interval, we write so this left and the set, they are different, right? Like this. And the graph also, left and right is different. Here, this is less than or equal to, so we write like this, and like this, right? And here, x less than or equal to b, less than or equal to b. This means it's from infi minus infinity to b, right? So here, the graph, for example, this is b, less than or equal to b. So in this part, in this part, right? In this part, less than. So this uh, here, like this, here, like this. 
So, run like this. And greater than or equal to A. Greater than. So, we write like this. This is interval notation. Here, greater than. This is A. Greater than. Write like this. Okay. Greater than A. Oh, okay. Just different like this. Okay. And here, this is A. All real number. All real number. This means from minus infinity to infinity, right? And we have the graph. This all real line. So that's like this. And then we will learn solving inequalities. Huh? Why we write open like this? Open interval, why, what? The graph of open interval. How, how, to, how to draw a graph of open interval? For example, mm, mm, you know, this is an uh, open interval, right? How to draw a graph? Here, this is the orange is zero, right? We know two is greater than zero, so two is to the left or to the right of zero. Two, left or right, right? And the front, right? So the open interval, we just do like, like this. So graph like this, okay? This. Ah. This is. Okay. And. Ah. Uh, zero. This is not uh, an open bar. Ah. Uh, Close the interval, right? This means this is x. We write like this. Draw like this. Draw like this. And any question? What? Draw something. Okay. Mm, yes, it's possible. Oh, oh, you see this? No, it's not possible. It's not. Yeah, it's wrong. It's merely this. This is <laughs> what we don't have this symbol. It's mean, huh? You may you can write like this. A, a site, for example, is. Mm -hmm. This is a program like this. Minus one program, this is one. Okay, you need like this. But uh, the, this part and this part, uh, they can't uh, combine. You can, uh, this one, this one means from in minus infinity to one. So if this is one, this is minus infinity to one, right? This is minus infinity, this infinity. And this is two. So this means two to infinity, like this, right? This is meaningful, but here, if you write, I don't know, this meaningless, okay? Mm. Hello, students online. Any questions?
Oh, not a bad one. Okay. Okay, no questions. Uh, now we will land. Uh, maybe uh, the last uh, content uh, for today. This is solving inequalities. Solving inequalities as with equations, the pro produce, uh, procedure for solving an inequality consists of transforming the inequality one step at a time until the solution set is obvious. We can perform certain operations on both sides of an inequality without changing the solution side. In particular, we can add the same number to both sides of an inequality. We know. A less than B. If A less than B, please tell me the relationship between A plus and B plus A. Which one is bigger? One A plus C and B plus C. Which one? Huh? The question is A plus one less than or greater than. This means mean this is less than or greater than. This means we have A is less than B. Please tell me A plus C and B plus C. The relationship of which one is bigger? Oh, just the, the comparison between A plus B and B plus C. Yeah, right, forget that more. One less than three, right? And one plus Two, three plus two. They both have at the same number. Three less than, right? And this means the, mm, the this mm, the order mm, the order is not changing, right? The order. So we can add the same number to both sides of an inequality. This we can without. Without changing its solution site. Okay. And we may multiply by both sides of an inequality by the same this is positive number. A positive number. And we may multiply both sides by the same negative number, but then we must reverse the direction of the equality. So it reverse the reverse the direction of an inequality sign. And I hope you understand this. And now one less than three. And uh, both sides uh, multiply by multiply both sides by a um, uh, positive number, you know. One times two Three times two, we know, we, without changing the order, right? But we, if we have the minus two, please tell me which one is bigger. It's one times minus two, three times minus two, which one is bigger? This means both sides multiply by a negative number, right? And we calculate the left side, this is the minus two, right? But here, this is the minus six. Which one is bigger? Minus six is bigger? Minus two. So this, we have two reverse, right? Reverse the direction of the equality sign. 
Here, if we multiply both multiply by a negative number without changing the order, if we multiply by a negative number, we should reverse the equality sign. Okay, I hope you remember this. Now we can solve the equality and show the graph of its solution side and without without see the answer. We can do by ourselves. Here, this is 2x minus 7 less than 4x minus 2. Oh, and we can add uh, adding the same number, adding the same number without changing its outer. It means both sides adding 7. We can add 7. This is 2x. This is a plus 0, right? And 7 by less than 4x minus 2 plus 7, right? And we have this is 2x less than 4x plus 5, right? Plus 5. And then we, we want to um, perform, uh, we want to solve, uh, transforming the equality one step at a time until the solution set is obvious. So from this, we can both, this is the ID, we can also add in minus, uh, we can all, this is adding minus for x. Both sides adding minus for x. Just two x minus for x. Right? Oh, then we want to solve how to solve this inequality. Multiply by multiply both sides by minus two. Oh, multiply by both sides by minus one over two. Okay. This is multiply by a negative number, which is the reverse the direction of the reverse the direction of the equality sign, right? So this means we have minus two x times minus one over two, the left side. Right side is five times minus one over two, right? So we should reverse here, there's less than reverse, that's like this. And we find this is, with x, right? Right is so we have solved solve this, right? And then we still the graph of its solution. So the graph we have the camel. This is zero, this is a minus five like this. Right? Like this. Great than this. So, any questions? Any questions? So, you know, I first I think seven because I want to hear this two x. I want to let this is zero, but it's zero. And why adding minus four x? Because I want this part zero. So we only have this part and the right only five. So and then I want to multiply both sides by minus one or two. This means I want to 
left uh, I want to this is just the X. Okay. So and I will give you an example. You place it by yourself. You can example, you can do it. <laughs> 